Field Marshal. It's done. We're ready. You're sure? As sure as I've ever been. You heard him. Everyone to your stations. This is the first step toward victory, Rikan. Toward a galaxy where everyone is in their rightful place. Where we have everything we deserve. But it is still just beyond our reach. It's time to seize it. Are you sure about this? Did you not hear what I told Hedda? I'm not asking if you're ready. I'm asking if you think this is right. I think it's too late for these questions. And it's what Hedda wants. That's all that matters. Rakan! Don't ask again, Zahar. Now get going. I don't want anyone blaming me when you don't pull your weight. Take Galar squad and get to the Lambda sector. Move! Mandalore, we're receiving reports of hidden chain activity across three sectors. Requesting guidance to prioritize response teams. I said get your people moving! Now! Mandalore. Hedda's come out of hiding, but her people are attacking everywhere at once. I need to know you hear what I'm telling you. Mandalore. Shay! This meeting better be worth it. I can't stand all this sneaky, underhanded spy stuff. Working from the shadows is not the way to get things done. Yeah, you're definitely the kind that likes to make an entrance. Let's just get what we came for and get out of here before we draw too much attention. I know we gotta do whatever it takes to track down Hedda, but dealing with smugglers is tricky on a good day. It's even worse when Harita Wald is involved. The Mech Shaw Gang? How are they involved with the hidden chain? Hedda needs blasters, armor, supplies, whatever she can get from wherever she can get it. And smugglers don't ask questions. Get down! Oh, wow. They're wearing matching uniforms now. Wonder how Hedda got them to agree to that.
You hear that? I don't think they were alone. Well, look on the bright side. We don't have to track down the hidden chain if they come right to us. Like what they used to board Shay's flagship. Huh. Can't say I'm impressed by the lack of imagination. We can't break the tether without damaging the station. How do we stop them from coming through it? Maybe we should send a little gift their way. A place like this probably has explosives just lying around. kidding when I said it, but they really do have explosives just lying around. Another one from Clan Rodark. That's not good. That should do it. Come on, let's get these back to that tether. Slow him down. Hello? Can anyone, if you can, won't let us go? Loading Bay 37! Loading Bay 37? Guess we know where we're heading next. There they are. That could be a problem. What do you think? How do you want to play this? The hostages are in the crossfire. I don't want them being used as shields. We have the element of surprise. Let's use it. You want to think outside the box? Nice trick. Form up, Clan Braylor. We have a job to do. Come on!
no match for the strength of Clan Braylor. this clan! Everybody good? Yeah. Thanks. Don't let your guard down. There could be more of them on the station. They're used to this kind of thing around here, you know? Firefights, lockdowns... But it's usually not this organized. Thank goodness you are around. You're a Jedi. Have we ever met before? I don't believe I ever had the pleasure. I would remember if our paths had crossed. Rass, where's the Jedi? Right here, Jet. But we're kinda in the middle of something. Head has come out of hiding. Hidden chain strike teams are moving on targets across the galaxy, all at once. Some of them attacked Port Nowhere. Rass and I dealt with it. What? I've got nothing that says Port Nowhere was on their hit list. Are you sure they were hidden chain? Jakaya. Mebana. What's- Rass, later. When everything's calmed down, I'll tell you more. There's no pattern to these attacks. Another happens as soon as we put one down. I don't have enough people to keep up. Intel says the hidden chain are going to hit an out-of-the-way spot on Ord Mantell. I'm out of people to send there. I don't mean to intrude, but if you want to avoid raising the Republic's hackles, it might be wise to send someone with close ties to them instead. He's right, Chikaya. Let me handle this. I've got nothing to offer in the way of backup. Are you sure you want to take this on? It's my duty to protect the Republic. That includes Ord Mantell. Vorente Borsha. I'm glad you're on our side. Ras, I need you with me. On my way. Is it me or did Jakaya sound... I don't know. Not like Jakaya. I don't want to take up too much of your time. But I have a suggestion that I hope would prove useful to your mission. There are rumors that the Separatists on Ord Mantell are not adhering to the terms of their ceasefire with the Republic. The political landscape may be too delicate to navigate. Speak with Captain Blyze at Fort Garnick. I've had business there before, and he was a very diligent collaborator. I also know that he has experience dealing with the Separatists. Then I'll start by meeting with him. I appreciate the information. Sounds like you've got what you need. If you've got it from here, I need to get moving. I've never seen Jack so impatient. Get back to Jakaya. Tell him I've got this under control. Uh, hello. 
I was not aware Captain Blythe had any appointments today. No need to apologise. I simply would have preferred the opportunity to tidy up this mess. I am constantly reminding Master Blythe that this space is unsuitable for someone of his rank, but he does not consider the matter urgent. Is there uh, anything I can help you with? Well, uh, actually, he... It's a bit of a tricky situation, you see. I suspect Master Blythe may, may be missing. He was due to return hours ago. I don't know what could be keeping him. I have reviewed my agenda and itinerary protocols at least three times. There is nothing scheduled during this hour, and he hasn't informed m me of any changes to his plans. You... you are right, of course. But if you have business with Master Blythe, then I don't want to keep you waiting. I never thought I would say this, but there must be something in all this that could help locate him. Oh, but Master Blythe forbade me from touching his things after I executed my most recent filing system improvements. Under normal circumstances, I could never allow you to pry into Master Bly's private business. But desperate times call for desperate m m measures. One moment. There. I have just requested and received a temporary Mantellian Militia security clearance in your name. You are now permitted to view any documents stored in this office. If you'll excuse me, I need to file a copy of your temporary security clearance with the relevant p p parties. In triplicate, I would not want Master Blythe to think that I let a stranger rifle through his personal effects without the proper paperwork. It's a transcript. An interrogation session led by Master Blythe involving a local arms retailer. Terrible business. One moment. Scanning dictation application archives. I found something. Yes, he has been preoccupied with a recent increase in weapons trafficking. He suspected a connection with the Black Sun expanding into this sector. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. This is why you mind your business, old man. Wouldn't be very good at my job if I did that, would I? And I'm not that old, blasted. Really, Blythe? Couldn't just take your medicine? Had to go and call someone to rescue you? Oh yeah, I'm great. These punks and I were just having a friendly chat. Just deal with this scum already. Try it. I'm dying for some excitement. <laughs> nah. The old man's not getting off this easy. 
He needs to learn. I do everything I can to keep this trash off Ord Mantell, but it's never enough. Master Jedi, thank you. Don't think I'm ungrateful or anything. But what are you doing here? I don't know who told you that, but I hope they didn't set your expectations too high. Are you kidding? That's... You're sure? Do you know when? Where? Yeah, but this all came out of nowhere. Not much I can do when I'm completely blindsided. Starting to feel like the old days again. Guess more than a few years of peace was too much to ask. People like to think that the Separatists just went away all those years ago. Truth is, they've just been laying low, learning from their mistakes. There's supposed to be a truce between the Republic and the Separatists, Nothing they do technically breaks the agreement, but they come about as close as you can get. Take Kesson's Landing, frontier town not far from here. Not much to look at, and folks keep to themselves. I've been hearing chatter about weapons moving through there. A few reports of missing people, too. I assumed it was another separatist ploy to intimidate us. Now I'm thinking it's something else. Something that has to do with this attack you're talking about. I can start digging. Get us some more details about what's going on over there, if you help me with something. This isn't a personal favor. These sons of huts have been running supplies for the Separatists. They outbid everyone on everything. Rations, munitions, you name it. They're buying it up. Whatever we can get our hands on, they're not above stealing it. You get these supplies to militia posted around the area. They'll be in a better position to defend us when the time comes. I'll head over to Kesson's Landing and see what people are saying. Meet me there when you're done. I'm not blaming you, but I'm not going to sit here, smile, and say thank you for the scraps either. No one's asking you to. But I am here to help you. There you are. Arn, why are you here? Did something happen? I just needed to discuss some things with you. How did you know I was here? This Jedi just let me know that you're not actually part of a Republic team. That no one else is coming to defend Kesson's Landing against raiding Mandalorians. Did I get that right? That is correct. I came alone. Captain Blyze contacted Republic High Command, wanting to know when he could expect the rest of the reinforcements. He couldn't believe that they only sent you. My requests for support have been ignored for months. How else did you expect me to react? I don't understand, Captain. Why did you feel the need to report me? That's not what I was doing. I was asking for more support. That's it. This place had plenty to deal with before you showed up. Those resurgent separatists I told you about? At this point, they're a case full of detonite. One little shock, like this Mandalorian attack you say is coming, and everything goes up in a blaze. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw you. The best of the best in that warehouse. I thought the Republic was gonna finally do right by us for once. Turns out they didn't even know about this. That's not entirely true. We're still at war with the Empire, you know. All across the galaxy, Mandalorians or no, we can't afford to start fighting on another front. You said it yourself. Any little thing could break the truce with the Separatists. What do you think would have happened if the Republic army showed up in full force? But... Republic High Command heard you, Captain. General Deroon personally asked me to come and investigate the situation. And to tell you to be careful. I've been handling this as carefully as I can. You don't have to convince me. I didn't come here to keep tabs on you or to interfere. But you're not going to do this alone. I'll help however I can. Well, whatever you two are going to do... You might want to get going. What's going on? 
One of my scouts says there's a whole pack of separatists messing around in the geothermal station nearby. She says there are some tough sons of huts with them. Got armor and weapons that are way too expensive looking to be separatists. Sounds like the hidden chain are already here. In force. And there's plenty of ways this can go wrong now that they've taken over that plant. What are they doing with the separatists? You didn't notice them making connections with the Mandalorians? What part of I don't have enough resources wasn't clear to you. I don't even have enough bodies to take back the geothermal plant. If we all go kicking down the front door, that'll give them time to blow the place sky high. Hold on. There's an exterior ventilation shaft that's just the right size for the two of you to sneak in. Then you can get the jump on them. We'll keep that in mind. Let's go, Arn. Right behind you. the gas in there hurry uh, oh. that looks useful there I diverted the gas out of this vent shaft that should make things easier for us can we shut it off altogether just in case someone notices we're in here and tries to flush us out maybe this is connected to a larger control system but it's close by then let's go find it
That's enough! Go! Hey, take it easy. We're trying to help you. You're not with them? With the hidden chain? No, we're not. Then what are you doing here? Make it quick! You're not a Jedi. Your connection to the Force feels so... new. You're right. I'm not a Jedi. As for... whatever this is I can do... I've got bigger problems. I was trying to find my sister. I haven't seen her in days. Mina works here, so I thought... I ran into them instead. It's a good thing we got here when we did. I had it under control. You did what you could. I know I did. I got away from them for a minute, before you showed up. But I messed up. Got distracted. Distracted? By what? Cooling rods. They're the only things keeping the thermal station from blowing half of Ord Mantell into a crater. Those Gundarks in the fancy armor were taking crates full of them out of here. I tried to stop them, or at least slow them down. If we don't find those cooling rods and put them back, this whole place is going up. Then we need to move. Now. The problem is, I don't know where they took the cooling rods. That doesn't sound good. Damn it! My sister told me about this. There's a quick fix, but I'll need your help. What do you need me to do? We can redirect the water from the reservoir into the back spillway. That should provide enough coolant to keep things stable. For now. Someone's gotta watch my back in case there's any more of them around. And someone's gotta stay here to flip the spillway switch when I give the signal. I'll stay behind. Let me know if you need backup. Let's go! We need to shut off the emergency systems first, so the spillway will stay open. Got it! Some of the monitors here just went dark. Should I be worried? It's fine. We're overriding the emergency shutdown. Will that speed things up? Because temperature levels just hit 30% over capacity. It's not that one! We need to get the runoff channels open. We'll have to do it manually. It's, uh... I'm pretty sure it's that one. It's getting very hot in here. Blast! I was hoping I was just imagining it. Temperature levels are at 50% over capacity. Just need to divert the water from the reservoir into the spillway. 90% over capacity! <laughs> Alright, that should be everything. Tell your friend to hit the switch! Arn, we're ready. Open the spillway.
It's working. Levels are stabilizing. I think we'll be okay. Can you keep an eye on things while I find out where the rest of the hidden chain went? I've got it. I'll let you know if something changes. We're in the clear for now, but long term, those cooling rods have got to go back where they belong. The people who took the cooling rods. Do you know where they might have gone? Well, there's no place for shuttles to take off from here. And they couldn't have moved them all on foot. Hey, I don't have long, and I know you don't either. It's fine, Ras. What's going on? There's something you need to know. Not tomorrow, not in a little while. Jakaya, he's taking way too long to say it. So he asked you to tell me? No, he's so focused on what's going on, he didn't even notice me sneak away to call you. I don't know how else to say this. Mandalore is missing. Missing? What do you mean? I mean, no one can find her. Jack can't even get in touch with her over comms. The traitors are out in full force, and it's like she's just... disappeared. Don't worry too much. I'm sure she has her reasons. Whatever it is, she couldn't have picked a worse time. You deserve to know as much as anyone. You've done right by her. Hell, you're fighting for her right now. Speaking of, how's it going down there? We are trying to stop this place from melting down, remember? Who was that? What's she talking about? I found her holding off a group of hidden chain. By herself. She says they've taken cooling rods out of this geothermal station. Do you know what Hedda would want with something like that? Not a clue. But I'll let Jakai know about this. You need anything. Call. All right? All these strangers show up and my sister disappears. And like an idiot, I've been helping one of the strangers. That Mandalorian you were talking to? How do I know he doesn't have something to do with all this? How do I know that you don't have something to do with all of this? I'm sorry for what the Hidden Chain have done here. I'm doing my best to stop them. Let's just get this over with. As many cooling rods as the Mandos took, they'd need something big to move them. There's an old tram system that runs out of here. It's not in the best shape, but it would get the job done. It's as good of a lead as any. Let's check it out. Fine. It's this way. Opening the spillway must have worked. It's not as hot anymore. Yeah, but it's only a temporary fix. I don't even want to think about what will happen if we don't get any of those cooling rods back. All the trams are gone, but we can find out where they went. Come on! This data's a mess. But it looks like the trams were heading toward a supply depot? Fort Ronick. I know it. It's a good place as any to start looking. I'll show you where it is. Faster we get this done, faster I can get back to looking for my sister. Arn, can you hear me? I'm here. We might know where to find the cooling rods. Fort Ronig. If the Separatists let the hidden chain in there, I doubt we'll get a warm welcome. Get back to Captain Bly's and tell him we might need some backup. Don't worry, I'll handle it. I just talked to Blyze. 
He said seismic activity from the geothermal station collapsed some of the tram tunnels. So we might be able to catch the cooling rods before they get to the fort. We can try. There are maintenance hatches that can get us into the tram system. Let's see if we find any smashed up separatists. crash knocked out the power to the pole tram. How do we get this door open? Hold on a second. There's a gunk droid. Hook the little guy up to the door panel. He'll have enough juice to get us into the tram. Maybe we should just carry it. Give it a second. I'm sure it's nowhere near as fancy as the droids you're used to. But I promise, it'll get the job done. cooling rods in here. Hold on. What's in there? Are those... cages? What is all this? What were they doing? 
Mina! Mina! Oh no! Rami! Don't! It's fine. I didn't know him that well. He was a friend of Mina's. No one's seen him the last few days, either. I was starting to think that maybe they just... ran off somewhere. Somewhere better than here. And she'd call and tell me how great it is. <laughs> That's what I get for hoping, I guess. Or she could be worlds away by now. We need to finish this. This hidden chain scum has a lot to answer for. Aren't you here to stop them? Isn't that why I'm helping you? As long as we do that, what difference does it make how I feel? Captain Blyze is asking for an update on those cooling rods. I bet he is. You tell Blyes this isn't some back alley dust up that he can just write up and forget about. It's time for him to get off his backside and do something. I'll pass this along, but don't lose sight of what's important. We don't need to give the people here any reasons to join up with the separatists. If we get those cooling rods back and help fix the geothermal station, hopefully we redeem the Republic a bit in their eyes. I just hope you can stop the hidden chain before they do too much damage. All right. I'll update Captain Blythe. Talk soon. Fort Ronick isn't far from here. I bet a month's wages they just walk the rest of the way. You want to take out the rest of the hidden chain? Let's go find them. I briefed Captain Blyze on the situation with the hostages. He's getting reinforcements together. All you have to do is say the word and I'll send him your way. That might not be a good idea. It looks like they've activated the fort's exterior defenses. We'll find a way to shut them down.
That ought to clear the way for Blies. Come on! They'd have everything stashed down below! They've got the cooling rods! to scum. You're going to get us all killed. Unbelievable. Nothing to say for yourself. We all have a problem with the Republic, but we don't kidnap people. Destroying these? Killing you? I will have served the cause well. Where are the people you took? They're coming. Get the assets off world. Gah! We need to get out of here. Yes, right behind you. That sounded really bad. There's nothing we can do about it now. Keep moving! I can't believe they've taken things this far. Nina, please tell me you're not somehow mixed up in all this. Are you here? Petra! Mina, thank goodness you're still here.
You showed up just in time. Some of the others are already gone. They just came and took some more. Wouldn't be long before they came back for the rest of us. Can you get everyone out of here? Yeah, I think so. Make sure you avoid the lower level. The Separatists collapse the caves. Then we'll find another way back to town. Everyone, we're not out of this yet, but it's not over. If we want to make sure the Separatists and whoever these thugs are that helps them pay for what they're doing, we need to make it home. Stay together, watch each other's backs. Let's go! Don't let them take anyone else! They've got the rest of the cooling rods. I heard it was you who was meddling in my raid. Looks like Vizsla doesn't even bother to come along anymore. Just sends you out to clean up her mess. But I guess it's only fair, seeing how she had us running your errands for as long as we did. Who is he? I don't know. You're better than this. You've got strength and skill that would put some of my elite to shame. Field Marshal Cole rewards people like us. She'd welcome your help, if you ever get tired of being Shay's bootlicker. Shay has accomplished more than you or Hedda could ever dream of. I owe her for the times she's helped me. Everything people know her for is long in the past. She's not fit to lead us into the future we deserve. The Field Marshal is. Hedda Cole wants bloodshed, destruction, war. She desires everything I stand against. I knew you were weak, but I had no idea you were this stupid. Kesarim! I am Tyrus Brokenblade, a lore of Clan Varad. Know my name, weaklings, and tremble in fear. Tricks! Nothing more! Flee! Like the cowards you are! My blade is howling for your blood! Pretty 
tricks, nothing more. Flee, like the coward you are. Sahar? You made the biggest mistake of your life, Arawati. Field Marshal Cole will have your pretty head for this. I'm not afraid of Hedda. No? What about everyone else? What do you think will happen when you don't have her favor anymore? I don't care. Your brother won't protect you. Shut up! Hell, Rakan would give anything. For the honor of killing you, traitor. I am Tyrus Farad! I am the Broken Blade! And I will shatter you into pieces! I will tear your throat out! I will tear you limb from limb! I will tear your throat out! I don't know why you're here, but I'm glad you offered to help. I wasn't going to stand there and do nothing. What's going on? You're not working with the Hidden Chain anymore? Not exactly. Hedda's opened the holocron that we... that I took from Elom. She found plans on it, for a machine. Her followers are collecting what she needs to build it. I tried to tell Hedda I won't help her do this. You don't say no to Hedda. You don't walk away. I don't know if I want to walk away. I've been doing what I can to sabotage them, but trying not to get caught makes it impossible to do anything. I need help. Real help. If what you're saying is true, how have you gotten away with as much as you have? Luck? Too much trust on their part? Whatever it is, I think I'm running out of it. Things are getting much worse. Feel much... Ah! I'm... I didn't... You did well. We can take him prisoner. And no one will follow him. What are you going to do with him? He'll be locked away, where he can't do any more damage. That's good. I knew this would get complicated, but... I need to cover my tracks. Set some things up before anyone gets suspicious. I do want your help, but... I'm getting that holocron away from Hedda, whether or not you agree to it. She can't be allowed to keep it. I'll do what you need me to. Thank you. When I'm ready to move, I'll let you know. Your friend is gone. Tell Blyze there's a prisoner here for him to collect. He's one of Hedda's. Someone important. I'll tell you more later. But for now, the Hidden Chain are gone. Didn't expect anything less. 
I'll see you in a little while. I will say this, but I would get... I sent your description of the Mandalorian you captured to Master Saldarin. I thought maybe she had something in her files that could identify him. You were face to face with Tyrus Brokenblade, leader of Clan Varad, and an integral part of Hedda Cole's inner circle. No wonder your comms were down for as long as they were. Things must have gotten really out of hand. A lot happened that I didn't expect. Like Sahar Katin appearing out of nowhere and helping me fight. Wait, what? She says she's been sabotaging the Hidden Chain, and she has a plan to get Darth Null's holocron away from Hedda. Do you think she was telling the truth? She seemed... different from the last time we met. Something has shifted for her. As for what it is, I'm not sure. Yeah, this plan, the timing, it all seems a little too convenient. I'll ask Tao about this. She'll know best how to approach Sahar. You can't keep acting like this didn't happen! People here deserve better than this! Where did you run off to? I needed to get back to my sister. I'm sorry for what happened to her, but you think I have the resources to stop a Mandalorian raid? The Mandalorian showed up because the Separatists opened the door and said, Come on in! The same Separatists that you and your Republic cronies let get away with murder! None of you care about us at all! His job isn't easy. I'm sure he's doing the best he can with what he's given. Oh yeah? You're sure? Based on what? You don't need extra soldiers or fancy weapons to take on the Separatists. Mina didn't. Every time they stole or intimidated someone into joining, or shook down someone who wouldn't look the other way. She spoke up. And she made people listen. What did the Separatists do? Got her fired. Trashed her apartment. Threatened her friends. Made her life hell. What did you do when she needed help? Mina reported every incident to local command. How many times you think your bosses followed up? I told her to stop, to leave well enough alone before she got hurt or worse. But she didn't stop. She knew that was wrong. We show the Separatists what they can get away with, and look what happened. They rounded up anybody who told them no, and handed them over to a bunch of monsters! If this is where fence-sitting gets us, then maybe Mina had the right idea. The best way to strike at the Separatists is to help those they hurt. With your connection to the Force, you can defend them. You can give them something to believe in. I know it won't mean much, but... It won't be too long before the Separatists come after us again. You can save your empty apologies for then. We're used to having to watch each other's backs, but doing it alone is getting pretty exhausting. You want things to get better on Ord Mantell, Captain? Stop leaving the hard stuff up to the rest of us. I had a few spare hands sweep Fort Ronick. We managed to scrape together a few of the cooling rods that got left behind. It's not looking good. It's gonna take a lot of time and a lot of work to stabilize the thermal station. And it's not even a sure bet. I'd hate to have to kick everyone off the island, so this is gonna take up all my attention. Not like I have a lot of it to spare. Petra's right. We really could use a hand. And I've gotten to a point where I don't know what else to do. Anything else you feel like helping out with around here, you go right ahead. Malgus, Null's Holocron, Mandalorians wreaking havoc, now this. Could it get any more complicated? It never ends, does it? It's a good thing the Republic has us to clean it all up. So, uh, I guess now we... what? Wait for a signal from Sahar? If she meant what she said. Let's hope we don't have to wait too long to find out.
Dahar. Zahar! Where are you? I told you I'm not going to cover for you if you fall behind. Sorry, Rakan. I'll be back soon. What happened? Nothing. I was tracking something down. For Hedda. But it was a dead end. That's all. Just hurry up. 